So, if I actually grab a hold of this, what you should find is the platter breaks. Yeah, and the platter's glass like. Okay, this is about to get stripped just for the yucks, okay? Okay, so all lipos have great discharge rates. In fact, you might remember I, I, I use these sort of things to fly my planes with. And one of these I, I started the car with. Ah, let's see if we can uh, see that. Okay, took me a little time to figure that one out. So this thing here is a little zero insertion force uh, latch. So all you have to do is flip that guy up like that, and then this just unplugs. There's a screw. So two screws here holds the camera on. Okay, so let's take the camera off. That's the CCD for the camera, and this is the camera itself. So you see the little lens? That's the little pinhole camera. There you have it, and that's the hard drive. Pretty little thing, isn't it? And under here, right, the way these things work is under this there is a very powerful magnet. Yeah, okay. Right, this is just to give you an idea of how strong the magnets are here. These are like these really powerful neodymium magnets under here. Which is one of those strange things that people always say these things are really susceptible to to magnets. So that thing there is a really powerful magnet, which, as you can see, they, in fact they're so powerful they're really hard to locate. So, yep. So you got a really powerful magnet, and then here you have a coil just a regular coil and the way this arm works is you put various chi um, various currents through the coil and seeing as it's in this very strong magnetic field that's what actually moves the arm back and forth and then under here oops, in here somewhere let's see, we'll come off you, 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 you have an AC motor in here a uh, three, three step AC motor that actually spins the disc and the I, I know the drive electron drive electronics are pr probably on here somewhere. Ah, there we go. So that's the drive electronics. So that actually runs the whole thing. Okay, so there we go. And so you got a little piece of insulator in between the two. That's your drive electronics, and that, that little thing there, which you're probably going to see, is the connectors that connect it to the drive. As you can see, this thing is, this was a 20 gigabyte hard drive. 
So the technology on this sort of stuff is fearsome. So this actually has really good bearings on it. And also, the this is a single platter, but for the small hard drives like this, the platters need to be they're, they're, they're made of glass. So if I actually grab a hold of this, what you should find is the platter breaks yeah, and the platter's glass like. Which leaves us with one last goodie, the screen, liquid crystal screen. Okay, so the whole thing's only just like held in with sticky tape. So you've got a plastic screen on the front. Gives it some protection. Then you get into the rest of it. So this is the LCD screen itself. Now the backlight is the only thing that actually runs under any significant voltage. Oh wow. That's polarized. Okay, it's so all that crap that I stripped away there was the backlight. Yeah, there you go. So that's the LCD display. Right, if I actually move it up, you'll see even better that. So the LCD LCD display is actually completely transparent, and then you've got a backlight on it that helps you see it. And yeah, they usually require some sort of insulation because they run at quite high voltages. Quite well mirrored as well. So that's the basic end of a, um, a G Mini. That was an Arcos G Mini. The hard drive had crashed on it. So you got one board of electronics, uh, which has the camera, uh, drive connector, power connector. It was just 3.5 volts or so, single um, lithium ion cell. Uh, uh, microphone, drive electronics for the hard drive, that's fantastically polarized, uh, hard drive mechanical construction, very simple, is single spinning ceramic platter with a arm that has essentially a DC current passed through it in a strong magnetic field. Uh, I've lost the magnets for. And then drive electronic on the back somewhere. So yeah, that's the end of a Arcos G Mini MP3 player, ABI player and camcorder recorder.